Welcome back folks to a brand new video. In part one of the Germany series, we took a look at some of the beautiful towns to visit for the first time. But now we're focusing on the northern part of the country and I've narrowed it down to just a few. So here are 12 more beautiful towns to visit in Germany. This is part two. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Stralsund. Stralsund is a peaceful little town of just under 60,000 people, lying on the shores of northern Germany. It is a little gem on the Baltic Sea coast that enjoyed the status of being a significant trading city back in the 14th and 15th centuries. It was honoured as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2002, and it's best known for its gothic town centre and colourful houses. Only a few minutes away from Stralsund, you'll find an expansive sandy beach that looks on to the Rugen Islands. Number 2. Warnemunde Found on Germany's Baltic coast, about two hours north of Berlin, Warnemunde is an underrated cosy little seaside town. It's a destination that Germans like to keep secret, the perfect seaside stress-busting retreat from the city. Take a walk along the water's edge or climb the lighthouse for views over the Baltic and visit the famous teapot building that's home to some great local seafood. Number 3. Wismar The picturesque port city of Wismar on the Baltic Sea coast should not be missed, especially if you're interested in medieval architecture. It was originally a trading port and part of the powerful trading group called the Hanseatic League. The entire Altstadt was listed as a World Cultural Heritage Site by UNESCO again in 2002. And it's here where you'll find the Town Hall, many beautiful brick Gothic buildings and the iconic Wasserkunst Fountain. Number 5. Lübeck Lübeck is a very picturesque city, famous for its gothic style buildings, mouth-watering marzipans and perhaps most famous for its fabulously beautiful Holsten Tor Gate. Lübeck is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List and has more than 1,000 historic buildings. The skyline of Lübeck is graced by a series of beautiful churches. It's famed for its marzipan industry, 
that dates back hundreds of years. So that is something that you need to try. So check out the cafes in the main centre. Amongst the beautiful courtyards and of course plenty of museums. Number 6. Lüneburg At over 1000 years old, Lüneburg is one of the oldest and best looking towns in northern Germany. Located between the Elbe River and the colourful heathlands of Lower Saxony, the Hanseatic trade town, famous for its salt production, has an abundance of medieval treasures, and not to mention the red brick houses and pretty churches. But as a university too, Lüneburg is lively with plenty of places to enjoy your food and your drinks, a very social area. And of course, to sit back and admire the scenery. Number 7. Stade Just a short trip from Hamburg, the small city of Stade is another destination with a Hanseatic history. Located just down the Elbe River from Hamburg, most of Stade's attractions relate either to the Hanseatic League or its occupation by Sweden following the Thirty Years' War. Take a tour down the city's historic harbour and visit the museum inside a Swedish warehouse. Elsewhere in the old town, you'll spot plenty of pretty timbered frame houses for your photographs. Number 8. Freiburg Freiburg is a university town and an excellent base from which to explore the southern side of the Black Forest. The cheerful town sits at the bottom of the Black Forest wooden slopes, and it's chock full of half-timbered houses and twisting cobblestone streets, which you will find in many of these old towns. The local student population has given the town a lovely nightlife scene that anyone can enjoy a drink along the gardens around the canal. Or you can hike up through the woods or ride the cable car up to the Schlossberg mountains to the lookout tower where you can enjoy some serious impressive views. Number 9. Cuxhaven Located on Germany's North Sea coast, the small town of Cuxhaven is a great place for those who want to spend time on the water. Visiting Cuxhaven is more about discovering the sites around the coastal resort rather than the town itself. Begin by walking down the beach and past the colourful shelters sprinkled along its sands. And from there, you have Cuxhaven Beach which during low tide turns into a giant mud flat that can stretch for hundreds of meters. But of course, be careful. Number 10. Goslar 
Goslar has remained popular for centuries due to its outstanding architecture and charm. Notably the spectacular city gates and walls, the imperial palace and nearly 50 church spires rising beyond the skyline of timbered homes. The surprisingly narrow streets in Old Town bring visitors past many of these historical wonders. But the view is best taken from the hilltop location on the Imperial Palace grounds. So don't forget, you can go to Europe's oldest subterranean mine at the Rammelsberg Mining Museum. Another of Northern Germany's medieval gem, Zellers' history dates back 700 years. Once the home of European nobility, it is rich in historic buildings including having one of Europe's largest collections of listed half-timbered houses. But don't miss the beautiful Hoppenauer House. Zellers sits scenically on the banks of the Alpen River, and it is well located for hikes which you can also do without your shoes. Other attractions are the Cellar Castle. And lastly, a location which had to be on this list and is not in the north, we come to Görlitz. Sitting on the Polish border, Görlitz is Germany's easternmost town. Connected to its sister town by two bridges over the Nysa River, it's awash with historic pastel coloured buildings and ancient churches, such as St. Peter and Paul. The pretty town survived the Second World War intact and remains well preserved. So it's no surprise in that Görlitz has been the backdrop for several movie sets during or before the war. It's a beautiful place and one that just had to be included on this list. So there you have it folks, 12 more beautiful towns slash cities in Germany, a different part of Germany. So if it's your first time visiting, now you have part one and this video part two. Plenty of opportunity for you to take in the sights and try something new. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.